Good morning again, everybody. Um, I am delighted to have next to me Dr. Dr. Sagan, um, who looks after the biosciences for East and Central Africa network. Um, Sagan, uh, nice to see you. Uh, we, we've met, but uh, not really had a discussion like this before, I don't think. Um, so, <laughs> I'm trembling, I'm trembling. Okay. Good, I'm glad you are. Uh, uh, so, you're a molecular plant pathologist embedded in a livestock institute. Are you out of your comfort zone? A very good question. Not really, because a lot of the technologies cut across. Uh, my, my training applies to livestock and so on. Uh, however, and I have in my previous job also, I have worked on uh, forages, which is really feed for, uh, for uh, cattle for uh, livestock, however, that uh, there are a lot of things I'm learning, and I'm learning also. But talking to all these funny livestock people, don't they sort of, uh, you know, they've got, a, they've got a strange way of thinking, uh, do they not? <laughs> do you get on with them? Yes, I get on with them, very well, yes. Okay, well, that's just as well. Yes. Um, now, <laughs> Becca is part of, of, of NEPAD's Africa Biosciences Initiative, right? So this yes. is along with South, Southern Africa, which is Sand Bio, and then there's a, a WabNet for West Africa and a NabNet for North Africa. Uh, is, is that right? Who do you report to then? Do you report to any uh, of this broader NEPAD or, the, or, or what? Okay, um, that's a very good question. Of these four uh, African Bioscience Initiative networks uh, managed by, uh, uh, three of them are managed by NEPAD, directly under NEPAD, yeah. uh, African Union. Uh, Beka is the only uh, hub in, uh, which is under uh, uh, IRRI, managed by IRRI, and uh, it is part of IRRI. So we have an informal interaction with NEPAD and the other networks, but we have no reporting uh, uh, relationship with, with AU NEPAD. Is, why is that? I mean, that's a bit strange. It, should it not be? I mean, it, it's under NEPAD. It should it all be one family. Otherwise, you're losing the, 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 the sort of thrust that NEPAD wants to have. Well, well um, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think. Tell me what's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of the success of. Uh, uh, I think it's the path. Yeah. Oh, it's back. Back. I think part of the uh, success of Becca is uh, because it is part of Italy. Uh, um, so part of, uh, for example, at the moment the Becca hub is ten. <coughs> probably 13 uh, times larger than the whole of uh, the ABI Nepal combined together. Uh, so the success is, I think, because of we are part of the... Uh, 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 okay, industry. let me explore that a bit further. My understanding is while there's a corporate mission to build capacity in biosciences, that each of them has got a different thematic focus. So you've got crops and livestock, you've got in, in Becca, you've got human health in Southern Africa, and you've got environment. I don't know where, where, which one that fits in. How can that work, assigning thematic responsibilities on a geographic basis? Um, I think the whole idea is that there will be a differentiation, uh, specialization in different areas. However, uh, that doesn't really exclude, uh, for example, uh, uh, Becca at the moment service, for example, a number of regions also outside the Eastern and Central Africa region also. Um, so it's not completely exclusive that uh, uh, is somebody who needs uh, uh, capacity building in, in crop, for example, from outside of the... the so you'll go into country. West Africa and do crop uh, bioscience support? We, we provide support to those, to those guys, yes. And the WAPNIT, for example, a number of WAPNIT uh, scientists have been trained at Becca. Uh, so there is a interaction. Uh, however, we give priority to the Eastern and Central African uh, region. Okay. That, yeah. Now, the Eastern African region has seen progressive decline in many laboratory facilities, particularly on the veterinary side, which was my uh, forte. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and Ilri has given lip service and some technical support to rebuilding that capacity. Uh, and then along comes Becker as a, as a competitor to those very facilities that Ilri was trying to help build. Is that not um, a little bit of an upside down situation? Um, it, it's not really, we are not really competitors. We are really aiming at the uh, upstream uh, uh, research, upstream facility, while supporting the region to build their own infrastructure uh, also. Otherwise, 
all the capacity building that we do would not have any effect unless the people uh, go to um, that we train have a place to, to work in their own home. Uh, uh, but what uh, direct uh, input do you have to some of those institutes? You're training people, but but what direct input? How do you help them keep those uh, laboratory facilities uh, to the level that they need when they go back following training? Yeah. Um, we do various things, uh, but you have to remember we are a very small team. We are only 4% of the total uh, Italy uh, people. The number of people in, in Beck are very, very is a small team. Uh, so, but we work together with the biotechnology team. We work with other teams to really uh, and other a number of other partners to support the region. So, in terms of infrastructure, we are, for example, supporting uh, the Nord EIR in Holeta uh, to build its uh, uh, capacity in biotechnology. Okay. We are supporting the Guru University in Uganda. Uh, we are uh, strategically supporting a number of uh, laboratories at Osos. Okay, Akos, yeah. let me follow up on that. Though. Was it correct to build Becca at Ilri? Would it not have been more appropriate to put it at Honeta, Sebeta, or Maguga, or Tameki? Uh, why put it in, the, in, in, in Ilri? That doesn't strike me as being consistent with development. Okay, I think it is correct to build it in, in at Ilri. Uh, first, because we use the existing infrastructure to uh, to build uh, additional infrastructure to upgrade the, the current infrastructure. The location is very good. We get also a lot of support. Uh, we use uh, the, the whole of Italy infrastructure, the um, uh, procurement, everything, uh, uh, financial system. Uh, so. I think being part of it is part of the success. Uh, so of, it was uh, really a part of a, of, of a risk reduction uh, factor by the sponsors, was it? Well, yeah, it, is, <laughs> it, it reduces the, the, the risk for, uh, for, I think, for, uh, for Becca, but I think it is also a huge asset for Italy also. Uh, in a number of ways, as, as we see it now. Yeah. Okay. Um, I read on the Syngenta, you have support from Syngenta, I read on the Syngenta said website that Becker will increase access to affordable, note that word, uh, world class research facilities in Ulri. But your, I understand your client target, uh, your target clients cannot afford you. So here you are uh, doing, building this up, and you're too darned expensive. Okay, uh, I knew that was coming. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, I think for the general African uh, client, we are expensive, we are inaccessible. However, we are raising a lot of money, uh, including Syngenta, including Australia, uh, Sweden, and the Gates Foundation, and many others, to make it affordable, to reduce the cost for the basically for the African clans and I think we, we have shown that we can do that. Okay, your funding, you mentioned, yeah. you've got CEDA, CEDA, and this new CEDA of $12 million or something like that. Yeah. What is that for? Um, that is for, uh, principally, the, the fund was for uh, food security uh, for Africa. However, uh, it was supposed to be 100% for, uh, for research. However, we negotiated a portion of it to be for capacity building to make it also accessible for, for, for Africa. Okay, well, I was going to ask you, so your, your general funding that you're, that you're raising, are they under specific research funding or institutional development? And, and you're basically saying they're both? Both, yes, both. Otherwise, it, is, it would be very difficult to make it accessible to, to our African clans, who are the, the, the major and basic clans that we are interested in. Okay. Um, but I'm also a little bit confused. I understand that you're in, here you, you've been praising the fact that you're in Ilri, uh, and Ilri is a livestock institute. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, you're, I understand you're more involved in, uh, in crop research than, li uh, than, than, uh, than livestock. I mean, are you known for guinea pigs, mushrooms, and mycotoxins? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is a misconception to say that it's all um, the majority crops. Uh, the demand, there is a high demand in crops, um, and I think Italy should embrace that. Um, there is also, I think at the moment, there is a, a quite a bit of balance. We have uh, uh, research on, uh, we, we support research in, uh, uh, within the biotech team in uh, uh, African swine fever, in PPBR, in uh, CBBP, 
uh, we have worked on aflatoxin, which cuts across for animal as well as human and, and crop hulls. Uh, we have worked also on um, a variety of also animal uh, health uh, issues also and genetic resources. So it's really a mix of this because the technology cuts across uh, all organisms. Okay, so you do a lot of support work for URI, biosciences. Uh, is that correct? Oh, my, okay, you tell me. Do you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think the support comes from both sides. I think it's, a, it's more of a partnership work. We do you work with ILRI or do you provide the technical support to ILRI's research program? We work for ILRI and with ILRI. Uh, this is how it is. I think we are not, we are not separating and we want to be um, seen and we want to be embraced as 100% part of ILRI. Uh, Isn't there some confusion? I mean, you've got a biosciences group and you are running a a biosciences facility. So you've got all the hardware and and and, and some software, yeah. and they've got some of the research issues. Uh, is there not a? Do you not confuse people? By I mean, where does the? Uh, who does what? Yeah, the, uh, a lot of people uh, get confused. I think a lot of people within a group get confused. Even uh, within Europe. Even within okay. they get one, confused. When you come in, for example, when you come into Italy. Uh, in Nairobi, uh, there is a, a huge um, billboard. Yes. So the first thing you see is biosciences and, uh, and then all other hosted institution. That gives the impression that we are a separate institution. Uh, so that is part of, so it creates quite a bit of confusion on that. However, um, so uh, yes, we are focused on Africa. We have uh, created two really serve uh, the Afri Africa uh, to enhance bioscience capacities in Africa. Um, yeah, but we are part of uh, uh, ILV. And the whole infrastructure at the moment, the whole uh, laboratory infrastructure is under Beka management. Yeah. But when it comes to getting money and, and research grants, etc., you are in direct competition with ILV. <laughs> no, no, we are not in direct competition. Actually, explain <coughs> how uh, you are not in direct. Competition. Uh, how, how how would we be in direct competition with Italy? Well, mm -hmm. you are going for research grants on certain things. You're competing for the same uh, pot of money. Uh, we uh, we are not competing for the same type of money, but I think, uh, for example, the biotech team can actually leverage Becca to raise a lot more money. Without a doubt, without, but there, there is no direct competition. We are picking some areas which are, for example, are not covered by by uh, uh, the the biotech team, uh, which is not a major. For example, the, the, we fund a, a, an African scientist on to work on poultry diseases, uh, for example, and, and and he is not doing that. Uh, the rest of the other program probably. Um, we are uh, supporting some some things uh, that that are not that are a priority to African countries, but they are not a priority within, within the uh, Italy portfolio. There is really not that big of a competition. It's not competition. However, there is a lot of synergies that can be created to really boost Italy's uh, uh, biosciences capacity and the ability to attract more funds. Okay, I notice on the website you uh, you have a, uh, which is quite a nice website, it's, uh, it looks mm -hmm. great, you've got, a, you've got a long list of publications. Yes. Now on your, pub uh, your Becker publications, I noticed that some go back to 2003, and to me, I saw my colleague Subash Nazaria on one of those, and I mm -hmm. thought, mm -hmm. Subash left eight years ago, what's he got to do with Becker? And there he's on the, I mean, while I praise the, uh, the the availability of publications and references. Are you um, uh, you you got the Haile Selassie Prize in 1974 from uh, Emperor Haile Selassie just before he? Had, are you also an empire builder? <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> I think everybody should aspire to build empires. Um, uh, <laughs> So if you stop having ambition, then yeah, you are sort of some idea. So my advice is that everybody has to aspire that 
empire building. However, on the part of the publication, some of the publications that have listed are basically also relevant uh, publications. That doesn't mean that those are better publications. Publications that are relevant, which would enhance the whole of Hillary and its capacity, what it does. Uh, but everybody knows that Becca was not even functional in 2003. Uh, so um, that, that doesn't mean that, that those are completely Becca's uh, publications. So. Okay. And thanks for doing your homework. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I was actually just down the road here in 1974 because I lived here at that time okay. and you were probably uh, you know, very, very tiny. Um, uh, um, I've been told that we need to start wrapping up. Um, so your relationship with it, what are you, how are you going to, you say it's an evolving relationship, what are the specific things that you've got planned to make this uh, partnership more functional and more uh, transparent? A partnership with who? With Ilri, particularly with the Biosciences Group. No. So, <laughs> okay, um, I think there are a number of things that uh, um, the biotech team and us need to do to to create a win-win situation uh, not only for the region but also for Ilri as a whole. Uh, so there will be a number of areas that we are going to work together. And uh, there is quite a bit of also uh, prayer from uh, Jimmy that for us to do that and uh, we'll do that. Yeah. Um, so I think coming together also, I, I want also to emphasize that uh, a lot of our capacity building, the Becca's capacity building is done in collaboration with the biotech team and other partners that are hosted with us. So without that, as I said, it's where only 4% of the total is the workforce, uh, that it would be very difficult to achieve what, what we, uh, we have achieved so far. Okay. Dr. Sayunit, I'm Mr. Thank uh, you. Very much enjoyed talking Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.